Why buy this cheap Mini Z alternative? Well, in my WL Toys K989 review, you're going to find out why this is one of the best cars for use under shelter in place. So what is it that is making cheap, small, fast RC cars like the one in this box so popular at the minute? Well, many of us are still under a shelter in place or even under a full lockdown. And if any of those conditions are applying to you, then something like this WL Toys K989 128 scale four wheel drive car could be just the solution you're after. And I mentioned it's 128 scale as that's exactly the same scale as the Kyosho Mini Z is. And as nice as the Kyosho all wheel drive Mini Z rally cars are, they're also $190. However, this little fellow isn't $180, it's just under $70, and it's completely ready to run, but you are going to need 4A batteries for the transmitter. And whilst the battery is lurking in here, as we'll see in just a second, it does come in a handy USB charger, meaning you can charge it from pretty much anywhere. And we also get a few spare gears and differential parts in there as well, which could be a good thing, or a slightly worrying thing. And is it just me, or does it have a striking resemblance and similarity to the HPI Racing Kenblock Micro RS4? Well, the body looks pretty gorgeous, but even more so with all the body film taken off. And now that body really pops out at you. Thumbs up if you're liking that, people. I am thinking for the money, this promises to be quite good indeed. Anyway, let's see what's under the skin. Anyway, the WL Toys K989 promises to be quite similar to a Mini Z under the skin. And we've got a 2S LiPo in here, which promises to give it a little bit of punch. Very micro servo. Now that motor appears quite big for the size of the car. The tyres, oh man, I'm thinking we can drift on that around the house or garage, which we will see in just a second. Well, they've got a bit of decent tread on them. They are quite narrow, so I have a feeling this thing's been designed to drift. And it's even got working suspension. Although fairly limited travel on there, but you can adjust the body post, so I'm guessing we can fit different bodies to this, much like a Mini Z, if you want. And I do wonder if any of the Mini Z bodies will go on there. Decent little phone bumper at the front, but given the weight of this thing, I have a feeling this is going to be pretty darn fun to drive. And, whoa, Richie, whoa moment, I've just noticed something on here. If you wanted to convert this to brushless, as I'm thinking I might do looking at this, this has got a three-wire servo on it, which means you would only need to replace the ESC and the motor to make this brushless. And squeeze a new micro receiver in there. Well, Richie, I think you've probably just taught yourself into making a brushless one of these. Well, so far, I'm seeing an awful lot of car for my $70, and check out that all-metal chassis. Very nice indeed. I had seen cars that have cost quite a bit more than this, that, are, that do not appear to be anywhere near as well-made or featured as this is. Anyway, time to get that battery on charge and test it. And that LiPo is 2S. 400 milliamps, and I reckon it should be good for around 20 minutes runtime. Which, given the feather weight of this thing, I can quite. You could use the USB supplied charger, or like me, be a bit sad and have every charging adapter lead known to man, thus enabling you to put it on your fast so Let me get this right. You're absolutely sure this is what you want to do. So let me get this right. You want to drive down the ramp, under the car, drifting out in some style, at the back, through here, and back up again. Well, bits of it might work. Are you serious? What, that's like yes? What do you do for no?
Well, is the WL Toys as good as a Kyoto Mini C? Well, for the money, it is absolutely outstanding. Handles just like a slot car, but without the rails. Acceleration, brisk to say the very least. And as you see, it can put up with one heck of a bump. At 70 bucks, it has to be worth a lot. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.